Ah, aquí hay gente, bueno, aquí tengo que ganarle a, a Pipa, ¿eh? así que vamos a empezar con esto, yo creo. Eh, seguro que entiendo, dice, my corner golden deck, dice, eh, y nada, está ahí, está pensando. Veamos. Te, hay muchas cosas, ¿eh? se los digo, hay muchas cosas. Muchas. Pero me sirve como también como para practicar honestamente. Eh, como para meterme más en, el, en la práctica. Y en el bloqueo y en toda esa mierda que, que, que hay que aprender definitivamente. Me voy a meter uno, pero dirigido. Uh. Y que no me deja partir nunca a mí, no. ¿Qué? Porque dicen, o sea, digamos, y ahí sale o ponen cuatro, pero mis puntos no cuentan, parece. ¿No? Porque por lo que estoy viendo... Eh, sale cero, o sea... Tal vez no tengo idea. O tal vez me, me va a tocar a mí después, no sé. O sea, la defensa, digo yo, ¿no? O sea, que ella defienda... Que, que ella me defienda a mí, una cosa así. que creo igual estoy aprendiendo más digamos si sí, ahora me toca a mí o sea... <risa> voy a tratar de practicar mis largos mis largos en fin, bien. raro, o sea, ahora de nuevo ella, digamos. ¿No? Y yo solamente pude hacer dos puntos. O sea. ¿No? Y ahora como que sigue con ella. ¿eh? Ah, no, sigue conmigo, ok. Espérenme un segundo. Yeah, you relate to it now. Well. Parece que cuando yo fallo le toca a ella, una cosa así.
Claro, le toca a ella. Pero es raro, no sé, no sé cómo funciona esto. Sé que tengo que defender y eso es lo que sí. sí. Igual como dije, esto te ayuda a aprender un poco mejor los movimientos. O sea, podrías hacer en My Yard también, digamos, y jugar con más personas. Si quisieras, porque está la posibilidad. Pero yo creo que para llegar a 40 no es necesario, pero bueno. Ahora, igual ella ha fallado y aún sigue estando... Uh, sí, me cagó. Sigue jugando, digamos, ¿no? No, me cagó de nuevo. No quiero que me gane, porque tengo que ganarle y... Sería una estupidez mía que, que me gane, honestamente. Oh. Pero siento que le da más posibilidad a ella que a mí. Aunque lo tengo en Hall of Fame, igual... No. Oh, me cagó. Me cagó porque ya me está ganando, o sea... Y no debería. Oh, madre mía. Pero todavía no entiendo cuándo me va a tocar a mí meter puntos, la verdad. Porque aunque se lo quite y todo... Eh, le siguen dando la bola a ella. O sea, sigue, sigue siendo ella la que la que inicia el. En la no, no, me, no, o sea, no es justo, o sea, creo yo. O sea, ¿cuándo me va a tocar a mí? Mis puntos no valen, digamos. Cuando estoy en modo de defensa. Ah, me ganó el oponente. No, no entendí. Eh, win my corner golden deck. Vamos a intentar de nuevo y ver qué onda, pero... No llegué a entender qué pasó, o sea, cómo funciona esto. Porque aunque yo la bloquee y le quite puntos, cago. Y si fallo, cago también. Ahora tengo, hay 23 segundos ahí. Tal vez tengo que hacerle a perder el tiempo y que en esos 23 segundos no pueda hacer absolutamente nada.
puede ser. Tengo que salirme probablemente y entrar. Veamos, no. No, no funciona así. Como dije, igual me sirve como para practicar, pero no quiero estar eternamente allí. Eh, no, no, no me interesa, o sea. En algún momento me va a meter alguno y, y no creo que pueda evitarlo, la verdad. entender todavía tengo que salirme ¿no? o solo tengo que bloquearla y esperar a que me toque a mí pero se aprende mucho allí o sea ¿Me toca a mí? No. Ah, sí me toca a mí. Por fin. Sí, o sea, parece que hay tiempos definidos, honestamente, para cada uno. Eh, y es lo que es lo que toca, honestamente. Pero no debería haberme ganado la anterior. Pero bueno. Pero estoy aprendiendo, así que... Igual no me quiero sentir así como, como profesional, ni darme así como... Como que decir, ah, esta weá es muy fácil, porque al final igual te podría ganar, ¿me entiendes? O sea, yo creo que ahora es bien difícil que ella me gane. Todo puede cambiar, pero lo encuentro difícil, la verdad. Y ya le estoy tomando la rienda más al juego también, así que... Le gané. Trips, Platinum Deck, Tag to Thomas and Trips, Platinum Deck. Ahí le gané lo que tenía que hacer. Ahí hice, bueno, hice lo que tenía que hacer. Golden Deck, Platinum Deck, Trips. Ah, me tengo que acostumbrar igual. O sea. Este bone está a la mierda del mundo realmente. Y acá tiene que haber gente de nivel alto, como dije. Excellent seed made the right choice in betting you. You, ch you share my love and passion for the game. You leave hard work, pay off, and appreciate all the hustle to get with it. That's why I have a argument this game to win. Let's go pick up play from my brother, Golden. So, will I earn my respect? Fantastic reward for him. People will kick off the tournament. Surely she must be recovering from the loss to you. Okay. Talk to people on the Prometeo Silver Deck. Entonces. 
Okay, uh, you complete season quest, each season has one com com company of your quest and then you set it when you change it. Take off and check. Mamba mentally it, it will allow you to change your primary and secondary take over page. Check your out Mamba me mentality. Entonces, eh, pues tengo que volver donde ella. Ella está en, digamos, en la web principal. Así que Platinum Deck. Yo creo que está en Super Deck. Como dije todavía, no... no... No conozco bien los lugares, la verdad. Pero aquí puedo salir de acá, así que... Igual me queda todavía tiempo de doble experiencia porque estoy grabando el episodio en el mismo momento en que estaba grabando el otro. Ahora, ella estaba del otro lado, creo. Sí, estaba del otro lado. From a, from a days, talk to Pippa. Aquí está Pippa. Good game, maybe so Thomas mentioned me like a confidence and cool walk, not warm, because I'm living in the days game. I mean, heaven. With all this money I couldn't buy a basket to tell you about the train journey right. To be a nice anyway, helping you ready to tell you the sorry story about the making fun. Revis Robert and Rondi and the con and Corinth. Ahora me dice que tengo que hablar con tres hueones más. Um, hello again, Pete Captain Swells. What's a pleasure to me? You love to introduce you to my things around the ship. Make me add the deuce platinum day. Timmy, you're hot. Best really helping the gym. Okay. Y aquí, bueno, ¿qué hice? The Prometeo stuck to Sam in the Prometeo Silver Deck. See where it is. The Promet. Promet. Me dice Silver Deck y. Pero no me deja entrar a Promet. Por algún motivo todavía no me... Galleon. Get your daily price shop visiting the Galleon. O sea, tendría que entrar al Galeón, por ejemplo. Pareciera, porque no... No veo otra cosa, o sea, me dice que tengo que entrar... O sea, podría dejar esto de lado, honestamente. Y... Y ya. Eh, pero no quiero dejarlo de lado. Este es como el questline, digamos. Y supongo que... Me va a ganar, probablemente. Supongo. Es mi 14. Yo un overlay de 88, o sea, pf, madre mía. Yo soy un overlay de 60, creo. Así que ni idea. 
No, no, ni idea por qué me desconectó, pero veamos ahora y, y veamos qué, qué pasa. Me, me echó no sé por qué. Bueno, ni idea. Veamos. Todos estos capítulos, no sé si todos, pero por lo menos estos capítulos van a ser así, o sea... Por ahora, hasta que termine con esto, pero... Es 69 y el 8. Es más, es más decente que el otro, digamos. O sea, está a mi nivel, no sé si me entienden. Más o menos. ¿sabes? Muy bien, muy bien. Muy bien jugando. Este obviamente es una persona y va a ser muy diferente, obviamente, eh, que jugar con un NPC, ¿no? Porque obviamente es... Pero bueno, tengo que acostumbrarme igual, es un, es un multijugador, o sea... Hay que pensar en eso también. Ah, la hace toda el tipo. Ah, tiene buenos tiros. Y me la quito. hermano ah mira y él puede o sea lo que, entiendo, lo que entiendo es claro él tiene que salir de la zona roja para, para poder meter puntos y ya me cago ¿sabes? me cago muy bueno yo soy un rookie así que digamos que digamos contra un jugador normal no contra un contra una persona, honestamente. Me tengo que acostumbrar a, a todo esto. Eh, me está haciendo mierda. Pero no voy a ser un buen perdedor, honestamente. No voy a, a molestarme porque me gane. Tira, tiros perfectos. Oh, me la quitó. Muy bueno. Y ya si no me, me meto en la carrera nada más. O sea, realmente no voy a. Tengo que seguir mejorando. Ok. ¿Y ahora qué hago? Esperar no ¿Y podré entrar a esta weá ahora? No, no puedo. Me dice... 
Me dice The Prometheus Silver Deck. Ya no importa, vamos a, a darle al, al modo carrera. Porque... Ahí es donde voy a ganar más. Hall of Fame Play game Claro, o sea, no me va no me a pasar los juegos Voy a, voy a jugar juegos juego. Un segundo, porque no, no entiendo Ya miren, ahora sí, ahí está mi personaje Pero me pareció muy raro, o sea... Me, me asusté, hermano, porque igual he invertido dos horas, o sea, no es, no es poquito tiempo. Dije, qué mierda. ¿Cuánto está? Hall of Fame, yes. If you want to play, yes. Ah, o sea, estaban hablando de esto, ¿eh? MP, it's Hablamos. great to oh, finally meet you. Oh, pleasure's all mine, man. Hey, I read the article about you in the pen down. You're one data obsessed cat, man. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you can never have too much data. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you came. Uh, look, this Shep thing. Yeah. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. Mm -hmm. We're going to need to put in some work to make sure it doesn't have a negative impact on the start of your career. Okay. Yeah, so just like work hard, play well, make people forget Shep ever existed. Yes and no. Let's say we put you in the starting lineup tomorrow and you stumble a little bit. Normally, no big deal. Mm -hmm. But 68% of our fans wanted Shep. And of that 68%, 95% have a highly unfavorable opinion of you. Okay, so that's basically corporate speak for they hate my guts. Correct. Yeah. Which means it becomes a story. Mm. The papers in this town are out for blood. I'm sure you saw the top take segment. Oh, I did. Okay, look. There's no reason to think that you're not going to take off right out of the gate. But any hiccup in your play, and we've got a distraction on our hands. It's bad for your growth, bad for team chemistry, and it makes Phil Boyer look bad. Mm -hmm. He stuck his neck out for you on draft night. Okay, so what's the solution? Glad you asked. We focus on the fan base, and we develop a strategy to win their affection. Okay, it sounds like my playing time is based on what? If I can make the fans like me or not? <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's ridiculous. But everything's connected. Okay. If we don't deal with this in a holistic manner, it could affect the bottom line. When the bottom line's affected, governors aren't happy. And when the governors aren't happy, nobody's happy. I just want to be a pillar in the community. Mm -hmm. So if we can make the happiness part of that, I'm in. I don't want to do a bunch of PR fluff, though. Same page. Same page. 100%. Okay. And I've already talked to your team about all of this. Impressive group of people, by the way. And they're going to take the lead on it. But my door is always open. Freddie, I really appreciate your transparency, man. Oh, just Truly. doing my job. Just doing my job. Believe me, it's an honor to work with someone as talented as UMP. I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can accomplish together. So, se supone que yo había cambiado el nombre de You're nice and early. Love to see you. Just doing my job, coach. Humble and hardworking. Those qualities like to see in a draft pick. But you already knew that. <laughs> Let me show you the locker room. Let's do it. So obviously you've seen one of these before. Nothing too unusual. Your locker's over there. The one with my name on it, right? <laughs> Quick study. We put the starter's name on the whiteboard over here for every game. Coach likes to keep things regular, but obviously injuries happen. People perform or they don't. So it'll change from time to time. All right, well, hopefully it changes sooner rather than later. You're doing the right things. You'll be there sooner than you think. Hey, that's the plan. All right, hey, come on. Let me show you my office. Come on in. Cool. Now, I know you're anxious to find out how you're going to fit into the rotation. Coach, man, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hyped, man. You got no idea. Like I said, we wanted to see how you performed under pressure, so we put a lot of weight in your performance in the summer. <sighs> oh, yeah, you were very clear about that. Communication is super important in this organization, so I am glad to hear you say that. And I'm also glad to let you know that you'll be our sixth man to start the season. Sixth man? Um, okay, can't be mad at that. I thought you'd be a little higher in the joy scale than can't be mad at that. Joy scale? Coach, you a life coach on the side? Getting a little pocket money there? Yeah, I joke <laughs> when I'm upset too. I'm not upset, it's just... 
I haven't come up the bench since my freshman year in college. And before that, never, really. I get that. But six men at this level is a big responsibility. People have long careers in that role, and you haven't even played a game yet. I feel you. I feel you, man. It's just I have high expectations for myself, and I'm not exactly at a 10 on the joy scale just yet. I get it. 100%. Honestly, I'd be concerned if you didn't feel that way. You want to make it here, you got to have a hunger to be the best. I mean, if you're not competing to be the best here, what are we doing? <laughs> exactly. What are we doing? Exactly. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to get dressed, you know where your locker is, and once you're ready to head to the court, it's a tunnel across from the locker room. Any questions? Ah, Koshi, I'm ready. Let's get it. See you out there. A ver, veamos cómo nos va ahora. Este es el primer partido. Es turning back the clock in a big way with the return of the Jordan Challenge. Fifteen of the. Podría haber visto eso. Interesante porque eso es el. And now the starting lineup for the visiting Philadelphia 76ers. At small forward, Matisse Thybul. At the other forward position. Tobias Harris at shooting guard Tyrese Maxey at the other guard James Harden at center Joel Embiid no, o sea, no voy a jugar, digamos, al principio, o sea, estoy 6 en la banca, o sea. Igual lo puse en Hall of Fame. Siento que las expresiones, lo único que te diría que, que le falta pulir al juego son las expresiones de los jugadores. En general. Now, one lead scout I spoke with said that MP was good in college, but his tools will not translate to this level. So some fans are already questioning this pick. Guys? I can see that. Thanks, David. Sounds like MP already has some critics. Yeah, but I think that'll help MP. Fuel him. Look at the 76ers starting group. Front court is Thibault and Harris. Harden out there with Maxi, And it's MP in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Celtics. The post tandem, it's Horford and Williams. Out of the wings, it's Brown and Tatum. Me va a saltar, si puedo saltar. Me lo va a saltar. Y ver qué pasa. Porque no me interesa ver, digamos. No va a tirar. One shot. Déjenme ver un poquito... Mr. Incredible, si ¿sí? está ahí. Uh... Voltex Name. 
Bueno, ahí tengo que verlo. Bueno, no se puede arreglar nada acá el tema del grupo. He lives at the line. That is James Harden. Ahora tengo que tratar de escalar. Smart passes to Wolf. Oh, Andrew Wiggins in Smart passes to Wolf. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Pass to Harden. To the paint. Here's Melton. And the rejection by Wolf. And it's out of bounds. They say. Mira, me, me fui muy arriesgado con lo que hice. Aparte, acuérdense que están en Hall of Fame. Oh. Guys, you think about the Boston Celtics, and obviously the offense is driven by the two Jays, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. So much of what Boston does starts with their wing play. The Celtics shooting their first free throws of the evening. And take a look back at last season, and what a season it was oh, for them from the free throw line. 82% as a group. And doors with Tatum and Brown. If they aren't scoring, o sea, ojo que tengo que lograr hacer cosas buenas. Apenas un segundo. The pass to Embiid, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Well, Greg, what can you say about Joel Embiid's growth from a leadership perspective? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Carrying the Sixers with everything they went through, he really came in second in MVP voting two years in a row. No player more important to his team than Joel Embiid. And the 76ers making a change here. Milton's checked in. Pulls up on the wing. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Wolf got his second bucket of the night. And it's Harden with the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. They trail by seven. And they pick up two. And James Harden, one of the best individual offensive players the game has ever seen. If he gets his feet in the painted area, it is always dangerous for the defense. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And you gotta love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this one. How about the leaner? Only the guys with the sweetest of I'm strokes full of fame. can pull that off in traffic. Milton kicks to Melton. Private inside. Con mi, con mi, con they get cuerpo. a hand on it. Stolen by Brogdon. And a fast break now for the Celtics. Here's Wolf. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Wolf got eight. Agile play to get his hand in there and get the steal. Intelligent play to immediately start the break. Has to make it. Look at There's 37 seconds left to play in the first. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on Malcolm Brogdon. And great, the Philadelphia 76ers have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top two. Los gráficos, honestamente, a pesar de que no han cambiado, igual están mejores, yo creo. Versus 2018. Me gusta bastante todo. Más de lo que me gustaba el 2018. The Celtics getting some veteran help. Gallinari and Brogdon both bring shooting, and Brogdon's another playmaker. Ahora igual toca hacer asistencia. in for Philadelphia. And some added toughness on the roster. Something Philly knew they needed after last year's playoffs. The hope is adding scrappy veterans like PJ Tucker and DeAnthony Melton will help them further this go around. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Harden. Comes up empty down low. Boy, a really tough quarter for this guy. Just struggling to make shots right now. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. No way to save. No way to save. No way to save. No way to save. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. And that's, it's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance 
quick enough. Pero que fui Getting yo. another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. And making a statement right away, letting them know they won't no get the easy ser. ones no when he's around. Mm -hmm. For Philadelphia, they have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. And he trains the three, but let's see, they may need to review it. I'm sure the ball was out of his hand in time. And it looks like they are going to review the play. The question, did he get the basket off in time? And now that we've got the chance to see it, it's the ball. And so it's the Boston Celtics holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. And they've done a phenomenal job. Vamos a saltar esto. Pero aún así es muy malo. So Boston ends up going with the new group, and then for Philadelphia, Embiid, he's checked in for Harold. P.J. Tucker comes in for Matisse Thybul, and it's Jake Milton in for James Harden. Harris misses. And you know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Boy, when he's this deep, it's going to be tough to stop him, especially with a smaller defender. For Boston, they have come up empty at the line so far. Long three attempts. Shooting one. Well, say, Poco. Free throw off from Wolf. And Greg up and down this Celtics roster. So many of their key players were drafted by the Boston Celtics. And Tatum and Brown at the core, but also the no front office. Where to find it? Antes no me pasaba eso. Está jugando con los Fame como que. It is fun to Siento que ahora como que. Me cuesta más. Cumplir con mi. Con el objetivo. Pass to Harris. Back to Tucker. He kicks it to Harris. Pocket six. Lays it up off the glass. Harris has got seven points for the quarter. A, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. Passes to Wolf. Over Harris. He clanks that one off the back iron, and down it falls. And that's 12 points for Mr. Incredible. The 76ers trail by 19. And the pass to Milton. Maxi looking it over. Here's Harris. A beautiful reverse lane. Harris has got nine points. Well, a tough first quarter for this guy. You like to see the shot go in. Nicely done. And Bede with the steal. Now here is Harris. Guarded closer. On the wing, Milton. To Embiid, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Who draws more fouls than Embiid? Very few players, if any, too much size and, and really too much skill to defend. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. Jalen Brown is in charge for Boston. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Back to the action. In the 76ers, 40. No sé, a Zen es muy bueno, man. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is he? Well, I mean, but it's substitution changes. Mr. Incredible, he's checked in for Williams, and it's wide in for Marcus Smart. Then for the 76ers, P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Tobias Harris. De'Anthony Melton comes in for Matisse Thybul, and it's Jake Milton in for Maxi. Horford is out there with Jason Tatum. Then there's Mr. Incredible. Then there's Jalen Brown, and it's White at the point. That's the Boston Five. 
And in the last decade, defense is switching on screens has increased dramatically. Is this the new normal, you think? Kevin, I think so. I think teams that switch well tend to defend well. Because switching can create mismatches, but it's harder to punish those now. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Alinari comes in for Jason Tatum. And Brogdon subbed in for Jalen Brown. Wolf shot's good. One fifty-six left to play in the third. Pass to Melton. Harden with it. I'm gonna have He's got twelve. Oh. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First, first that one on White. Well, James Harden still a tremendous player, but now in his early 30s, some question, can he be the dominant MVP force we saw in Houston? And Grant Harden in recent years dealing with hamstring injuries. Has he lost a step to age or injury? You know, probably a little of both, but we've seen players with a new diet or training regimen get back to peak production, but hopefully he can as well. I tell you, he's making everything he looks at tonight. He should be their number one option on every possession. And there's the drive. And Harden with the stuff. Uh, James Harden with the ability that he has both from a smart IQ and skill standpoint. Nice drive right there. Rodden kicks to White. Great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. Brogdon's got assist number five here tonight. It was a second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. And a drive like that one can be a knockout punch. Great finish at this jump. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. Back to White. And the basket is good. He's got a chance here for one more at the line. Defensive ball. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their pass. Celtics making a switch here. Tatum's checked in. Philadelphia also making some changes. Matisse Thibault comes in for Shake Milton. And Maxi subbed in for DeAnthony Melton. We talk about high effort players. Well, Derek White embodies that very description. Always working hard, always looking to outwork his opponent. Passes it to Thibault. Maxi against Brogdon. Six on the shot clock. Maxi passes to Thibault. Off the left rim and out. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat. Horford, he forced inside right now, willing himself to the line, getting physical near the basket. He's made two of three from the strike tonight. 84%. That's what he was able to convert on a season ago from the line. El SG es el porcentaje de tiro, 89%. And he sinks the second. Guys, I know we've discussed this many times, but I don't think statistics really reflect Al Horford's true value. This guy is a terrific player and a pro's pro. And there's a whistle that's going to go on James Harden. That's his third. And that'll be his third foul so far. Fifteen foul. Coming on to the floor for the Celtics. Grant Williams. And so it's the Boston Celtics in complete command. Their lead at 28 points going into the break. They've had active hands and have forced a lot of turnovers in this one. We come back. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us? He's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. I'll tell you, in today's game, you want skill and decision making at. Estoy saltando lo que no. Donde yo no participo. We've got Reed. Shake Milton is out there with Cork Moss. And it's Bassey in at the center, filling out the middle. Here's Wolf. He's still up. Now he is 9 of 10. You know, the assist is the key part of that play. The pace on the bounce pass, perfect. 
outside, Maxi. And there's the pass to Thibel. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Maxi passes to Embiid, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And the media is able to vote on awards like all rookie, but Greg, those awards can end up determining a player's max salary. Any concern there? No doubt there is, but somebody has to decide those awards, right? And no matter who it is, there's always going to be some pushback. So as long as contracts are tied to them, that power will be in someone else's hands. The Anthony Melt. He's checked in for Max. Has to Gallinari. Here's Wolf. Defended by Thibel. And they get it back. And Gallinari kicks to White. Hooked away. And stolen by Thibel. And now the 76ers on the break. No good on that one. White with the defensive effort. Pass to Pritchard. No, Here's Wolf. And there are the Celtics with another basket. Philadelphia has gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Thibel on the wing, covered by Wolf. Shooting foul, foul as the whistle blows. Okay. He'll shoot two free throws. Foul. Second team foul. And NBA all defense for two years running. Matisse Thibel has Matisse been a game-changing defender from the minute he set foot in the NBA. Yeah. Justin Jackson, he's checked in for Boston. Valentine comes in for Derek White. And Philadelphia will go for a different look here. Bassey's checked in. Reed comes in for Harris. George Niang, he's checked in for James Harden. And it's Court Moss in for DeAnthony Melton. And great, we know at Washington, Thibel was the college defensive player of the year. Averaging three and a half steals in over two Justin blocks a game. Jackson. And per minute, not far off that pace in the pros. His opponent field goal percentage last season good for second best in the league. The 76ers making a switch here. Milton's checked in. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Boston. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of Three thought points. that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. In get it, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And it will go down as their first official win of the new year. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more of one another before the season's over. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Jalen Brown. Efficient productivity. You love what this guy has given to you on the offensive end. Massey, the pass to Reed. Hands it from short range. Oh, Reed. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. And they can just let the clock run out here. Cannot argue with the W. Here's Wolf. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Grant Williams at the line with one shot. And that one falls for Williams. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now, Milton. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. I guess they have two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alton. Muy bueno, la verdad. Fantastic win tonight, MP. Thanks, John. What was your favorite part of tonight's game? Mm. 
provide it with yeah. You know, John, there was a lot of noise this offseason about whether I was the right pick at 18. So it felt, <laughs> it felt really good to get out there and just start proving my worth and proving that I was the right choice, you know? You know, I was so sick and tired about hearing about the right choice and P this and P that. You know, I just wanted to be about it. Well, you were certainly about it tonight. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing what you got in store for us next time. Thanks, John. Appreciate you. There were a lot of media outlets in the preseason that made a big deal about the fan base's so-called negative reaction to you on draft day. But I did see quite a few people in the stands supporting you. Mm -hmm. Could you speak a little bit about that? Community. Community is everything to me so it's very important for me to have the fans on my side you know with that being said it's only up to me to give them reason to cheer to smile to have something to look forward to you know and with the season only just starting you know i'm not surprised if they're not fully on board yet okay but is it fair to you to have to prove yourself like that is there any part of you that wishes you were perhaps given the benefit of the doubt uh i mean is it fair i don't know john life ain't fair <laughs> you know, my parents used to always tell me that when I felt bad for myself. Hmm. Wise words. Truly. You know, uh, but as far as, you know, getting the, the benefit of the doubt goes, I'm more comfortable being in a position where I got to prove myself. Always have, always will. You know, that's just a natural part of sports. You know, first you got to prove yourself to your teammates that you can be trusted to deliver. Then, if you do that and get results, the fans will follow. So, I'm not really worried about it. Cool as a cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the fans will love that quote, MP. Yeah, man. Hey, thanks for your time. Anytime, brother. Me parece bien, la verdad, las entrevistas tan decentes. Mejor que en FIFA, honesto. Okay, I will let him know. What up, Rick? You good? Hey, uh, yeah, I just got off the phone with Othello Akpem's assistant, and, uh, the big boss man wants to see you. What about? I mean, he's not one of those super hands-on GMs, is he? Nah, I mean... That's not really his reputation. So... Honestly, I don't know what this is about, man. I mean, I tried to press his assistant for some more info, but all he told me was that Coach Graves will be there, too. Um... Okay. Something about this feels off. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. You got any advice? Go in there with an open mind, see what they want to talk about, and come back here and we'll talk about it. All right. Bet. Say it. MP, come on in, take a seat. What's up, MP? Coach Graves, <laughs> Mr. Ock Pim. What'd I tell you about that? Bella, please. I right, mean, my bad, you got it. So, about Shep. Oh, you too. Now just listen. We knew the PR hit we'd take for picking you over him. But that's all just outside noise. Inside these walls, all we care about is ball. All right, well, I'm willing to put in the work. On and off the court. So whatever it takes. I actually spoke to Freddie Novak. You talked uh, to Freddie? Did I do something wrong by talking to Freddie? Freddie's a nice guy. I like him. But all this stuff about controlling your own narrative, you're a ball player, not a politician. We put together a very specific game plan for you. You hit these goals, you're in the starting lineup. Simple as that. Okay, Freddie made it seem like I had to do a bunch of PR stuff just to get my shot with the starters. That's flat out wrong. This Shep stuff has nothing, I repeat, nothing to do with your playing time. I want you to focus on your craft, not this PR stuff. Am I clear? Crystal clear. Good. I don't need to keep you. But if you ever want to talk, or if Freddie gives you a hard time, whatever. My door is always open. All right. Thank you, Mr. Ockpen. Othella. Don't mention it. Thank me by putting in the work. See you, coach. See ya. Hmm, well, I don't know. That sounds good, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll link up with you later, man. All right, have a great one. Yo, you... You want me to come back? No, 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 you good, you good. You sure? Yeah, I just wanted to talk with you about your meeting with Othello. <sighs> to be honest with you, man, I'm a little confused. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might say that. Yeah. So you know something? Man, I'm all over it. 
So what's your take on it then, man? And one ear, I got Freddy tell me one thing, and the other, I have Othello basically forbidding me to talk to Freddy. Oh, well, he forbid you? Well, not exactly, but he's not happy that I'm talking to him. I mean, the thing is, you know, when you're over the fans, I'm all for. It is my thing. It's a great idea. It's well-researched. But Rick, man, if it's me stepping on people's toes, I'm not for it. Look, I don't want to make the coaching staff angry. That's not going to happen, all right? So what's the plan, man? Well, first of all, relax. All right, everything's fine, man. It's just a little palace entry. That's palace all. Palace entry. All right, sure. Look, your president of basketball ops, Phil Boyer, mm -hmm. he's feeling the heat right now. He underestimated the PR hit that he would take by drafting you while Shep is still on the board. And optics, for better or worse, are very important for a man in his position. Yeah, I mean, he's got a career to consider, so I get it. Okay, so if you take this whole thing seriously, it'll do a great deal of getting you ahead. Mm, okay. Well, like I said, I, I'm down for whatever. Just say the word. All right, that's good. That's good. But meanwhile, you still got Othello Akpim thinking that Freddy's some existential threat. A threat? Yeah. Yo, bro, what is he, like, angling for his job? Dude is in marketing, man. I don't know. Stranger things have happened, man. Wow. Uh, I don't know. Dude seemed pretty straightforward to me. I mean, that was my read, too. But, I mean, that don't mean Othello's not worried. Look, the way he sees it, Phil's legacy is tied to you. Which means that Freddy's got his ear because you come with a lot of media baggage. Okay, again, that part makes sense. Okay, plus you got the whole data-driven angle. You gotta remember, Othello's old school, like a real scouts yeah. and chalkboards type. Yeah. Thinks that anybody with a computer's trying to push him out the lead. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, so all I'm saying is you just gotta, you gotta walk a real fine line here, man. I mean, goes without saying, you have to perform. <laughs> Yo, the, the funny thing is, that does not seem to be the focus right now at all. Like, I mean, you want the money, right? Hey, hey. Then this all comes with it. Hey, I ain't complaining. <laughs> I just think it's <laughs> funny, man. Look, all this means is that we got to be delicate, all right? So instead of launching this, you know, full-on PR blitz, probably on the lines of what Freddie would want, mm -hmm. let's dip our toes in this whole plan to win over the fans. I think I know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You want slow play. Slow play, oh, exactly. All right. It's not like we won't do nothing. We'll just ease into it. Keep Othello and Freddy happy, which keeps Phil happy. Okay. Which makes us one big, happy, slightly dysfunctional family. Okay, okay, okay. I can... It's all making sense now. Um, so when we start, man. Well, Mila and Ashley are running point on this, so I'm sure they'll hit you up when they got something to say. Yo, let them know whenever, wherever, it don't matter. I'm there, I'm your guy. Okay, Let's okay, I get it. <laughs> Look, in the meantime, you just focus on ball, all right? Hit the goals that Othello and Coach G gave you. Win some games, maybe, and we're going to be golden. Win some games. I'm just saying. Hey, that ain't no issue. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be. All right, then. <laughs> All right, get out there, man. Yeah, bueno, vamos a jugar eh, un último partido, honestamente. A ver, yo creo que... Ah, tengo, la, tengo este color. O sea, esto, o sea, ya saben que este juego tiene mil horas de juego, o sea, es muy largo. Se selecta el drill, press B to bring up the base drill, which I can practice with your coach. Finish, yo creo, ¿no? to see someone who values the mid-range game. Now let's see how this works. With 10 positions, the only way you can score is by shooting the floor. You got it, you got it, come on, man. I got you, I got you. Not slow, is it? I got her, I got her. A que se refiere? Not a float, slow there. No, no entiendo. Position, ten pos, pos, posiciones. The only way you can score is by shooting a float. Okay, stop. 
Slaughter. ¿Qué será? No tengo idea. Ah, eso es un floater, pero... No, por... ¿Y cuál es la diferencia? Eh? No, no logro entender eh, por dónde va. O sea, avancé muy poco de, de, en eso. All right, fellas, let's get to work. Congrats on the win, but we have a lot of work to do if we want to keep it up. Tengo que cambiar la lectura español. I want to score earlier and transition offense. If someone is up court. We have to get the ball to them. Coaches, set up the drill. Let's get it, fellas. Cuatro on fast break situation. Still attempt to score. Two seconds to attempt. Well, I had nothing there. You guys know what's going to be losing today. We shut. What a score. Okay. Bueno, aquí sí saqué puntaje. Parece que solamente seguir esto y ya. Porque tengo tres estrellas. ¿sí? Energy and practice today. Don't leave the gym without putting some individual work in. 
Igual por cero, o sea... Nada. Digamos que me gustaría practicar algo que, que no entiendo muy bien cómo funciona. Position 10, the only way you can score is by shooting a flow, flow, flow there. Como dije, me ha salido solamente una vez. Pero no, nada. O sea, no, no entiendo honestamente cómo, cómo funciona. Follow the arrow and get around to come fastest for the goal. Put back down. Press A keys or move and hold in a direction where the app of the sensor ball is getting ready. Oh my god, so I'm going to do it. Yeah, so... In this type of things, at least, I haven't done anything. I managed to do it. O sea, no avanzo nada. Let's get to work. Here's what we're gonna do. Los floats, sí, no sé qué son. Pero esto de acá, bueno, es, es no es fácil porque tienes que llegar justo a tiempo. Y tienes que salir por el lado que ellos te indican. Me salió uno. Y nada.
Como que tengo que rematar, ¿me entienden? Probablemente ver videos en YouTube me va a hacer bien. Por ejemplo, yo no sé cómo colgarme. O sea... ¿Y esto qué cosa es? Ah, los niveles. Ya, gente, esto es lo último que hago, porque... Ya, ya me pasé el tiempo. Es emocionante ver la manera en que el Jordan Challenge es presentado, desde los gráficos en el score bug, hasta los filtros de video de cada tiempo. Además, hay tantos amigos... Ya me pasé. 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 Ya me pasé
On the wing, Struess, guarded by Brogdon. Launches it. Boston with a rebound. This, their first chance to take a look at the Heat this season. This is a team they faced and overcame in last year's playoffs. <laughs> their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. And for Miami, they're shooting about 40% in the early stages of this game. Hero, the pass to Dedman. To the inside. Here's Oladipo. Lays it up and banks it in. Yeah. Oladipo's got his second basket of the game. Well, Oladipo has good size. One of the bigger guards in the league, weighing 210, and that strength helps out. Here's Gallinari. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. And part of the Murray trade over the summer, Gallinari was bought out from the Spurs. So quickly that he landed with the Celtics, he can still offer great shooting at the forward spot. It was a nice signing by Boston. Yo creo que todos queremos meter puntos, pero créanme que si quieres subir ese save, tienes que tener asistencia. The Celtics making a switch here. White's checked in. And the second free throw is good. So much trust about what Gallinari has experienced throughout his professional career. So he accepts the role he's been given. Struess finds Hero. Deadman with it. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's on Danilo Gallinari. personal foul. Penalty. Now at the line. Wayne and the first one at the line is good. Good on both. The Celtics have got eight of 13 attempts to go. No doubt. Nice to Mr. Incredible. Fires from 14. Good on the jump shot. Six points for him. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. You know who that was. Here's Struess. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. Domination in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. Celtics out front, up by 11. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. Que me gusta mucho. Y puede ser que la gente que compró el 2022 que está ahí esté un poco desesperado. Yo no. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. Pero sigue a ser grande. Guys, we've seen the Celtics really take control here. On the front foot, really right off the tip. They've been ruthless offensively. Well, just taking it right at the opposition and the other team right now. No answers and no way to slow them down. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. Horford and Williams together in the front court. Smart and Brown, a great defensive backcourt. And it's Mr. Incredible in at the three. And we've watched Brown evolve his game. Playmaking has been at the forefront of his development. Pass to Struess. Butler up top. Smart grabs a miss. Probably better off passing on that shot with him all in his face. Yeah, that's one where you hope Bummer. if he gets in there the next time, he, he makes a different choice. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. And let's send again. it over to Allie LaForce. Well, Miami the is game. very efficient. Coach Spolster said, quote, you want to maximize your offense in all the different ways in your menu without feeling like... I don't think anyone no, would no. say that about our team. They're an unselfish group that likes sharing the ball and they enjoy each other's success. Brian? Allie, thank you. And Brown, the bucket on the assist from Smart. Brown's got seven points in the game. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. And here's Butler outside. Rebound Boston. Coming off that win against the Sixers. They were lights out from beyond the arc, and they spaced the floor beautifully in that one. Yep, made the defense work extremely hard and did a nice job of getting any advantage Ahora me siento más como con against esta the team that shot it well. Lowry finds Butler. Will it go? Williams grabs the board. This is a rough stretch right here for him offensively. Seems to be rushing shots. Fires it. 
And the Celtics tack on two more. Miami. Their ball Almost movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Miami calls timeout. Hey, we see plenty of three-point shots every game, Brent. Would you say it's still a shooter's league? Yeah, I would say it's still a scorer's league, B.A., rather than a shooter, because, look, a lot of people can take shots. Uh, there aren't too many that make them efficiently. So uh, that part is, is going nowhere. I think it's about creating points and trying to get it to the... The most opportunistic way Mira, you parece score. que puedo apretar RT y usar mis baggage, The Heat have gotten only one of four shots to go in. La fue usada, ¿viste? Outside Butler. Pass to Struis. Voy a tener que ver video, bro. To the paint. Smart against Lowry. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. They'll pin that one on Marcus Smart. Now how about Kyle just taking that shot right now into the defender and knowing there's a good chance there's going to be some contact. Both free throws good from Lowry. Yeah, and Kyle Lowry has always used his stocky build to his advantage. But coming into this season, the Heat said he'd have to address his conditioning. From deep three-point range. Offensive rebound, Celtics. Horford finds Williams. Here's Wolf. He's guarded by Martin. Yes, it's good. 14 points for him. Grant, we saw in last year's playoffs the hamstring injury hampered Lowry. It really did. I mean, he plays oh, a physical oh. style, getting in there and taking oh, he's charges. He's and as he enters his late 30s, staying in peak condition could help him withstand the rigors of the season. Struess's shot is off. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. And the Celtics lead by 21. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. Pass to Adebayo. Butler on the wing. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's so been given been by Jimmy Butler over the years. Hard to believe it took him a little while to make his mark early in his career. And the Heat with some changes. Geert Sevens checked in for Bam Adebayo. Victor Oladipo comes in for Martin. And Tyler Hero subbed in for Struess. Pass to Mr. Incredible. Free throw line jumper. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. And Butler didn't get selected until the last pick of the 2011 draft. Brent, a lot of teams regret passing on him. Yeah, you can say that again, B.A. Once he did get the chance to play, it did not take long to see just how special Jimmy Butler could be. By his third year, he led the league in minutes, and he's just a guy who always won on the floor. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Pass to White. It's picked off. Oh. Oh. Butler against Williams. Here's Oladipo. Now Hero. Inside. Poke loose. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Lowry. And the Heat making a change here. Deadman's checked in. Gallinari, he's checked in for Boston. And it's a Celtics ball. They're on a 16 to 6 run. Ooh, that's so the basket oh, counts. So and si the line, un poco a a three point play. And why go away from attacking inside if the that D has no the answer for you? Malcolm Brogdon. One. De menos es mejor que C. Si puedo llegar a And here's Lowry. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Six. Oh, el From deep. Good work defensively by White. So as we conclude the first half, the first a half. fairly one-sided game. It's the Celtics running away with it. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway.
Pero estamos mejor que antes. Definitivamente. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly. Voy a saltarme esto porque... Substitute with some changes. Deadman's checked in for Martin. Oladipo <laughs> comes in for Butler. And it's Struess in for Hero. Lowry and Struess are the guards. Dwayne Deadman is out there with Bam Adebayo. And it's Oladipo in at the three spot. That's the group on the floor for Miami. And Brent, you look at Miami's playoff pedigree. They've made the Eastern Conference Finals six times over the last 12 years. Yeah, and those two championships they had in that 12-year period were square on the shoulders of their big three that they put together. But I don't see them slowing down when it comes to reloading. This team knows how to do it well. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Well, guys, Jimmy Butler's focus is all on team success. In fact, his agent said whenever he calls Jimmy to congratulate him on personal accolades, like All-NBA Team, for example, Jimmy hangs up in his face before he can finish the sentence. Brian, for Butler, there's only one prize that really matters. Yeah, he's a rare breed, Allie, for sure. Thanks for that. Struess finds Deadman. Shots blocked! Well, good work from Gallo there. You no, forget no, sometimes at 6'10 yeah. that he can come up with those kind of defensive plays. Pass to Mr. Incredible. Left side, Brogdon. Jacks up a three. That's good from Gallinari. On the assist by Brogdon. Gallinari's got six. He does so much out there to stretch out the defense when he's out on the perimeter and he drains the triple. Brogdon against Oladipo. Outside, Struess to stop the run. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Man, good whistle there. The first free throw is good. Think about well-constructed teams and themes that go with that. The Miami Heat certainly leap to mind. Their front office has just done a great job of assembling a deep roster that fits their mentality. Williams has checked in for Boston. White comes in for Pritchard. That one goes in. He's got 24. The scoring is coming easy for him. Got to keep the ball in his hands. Oladipo outside. Back to Lowry. And we've got 28 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. The Heat rebound. Outside Struess. Deadman, the pass to Oladipo. Oh, now Lowry fires for three. Gallinari pulls it in. No, 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 no. To the left wing. Puts one up from 19. Again, the Celtics. Good for two more. Well, part of the game plan was to neutralize the crowd. Hey, guess what? Mission accomplished. That's Always a good sign of maturity and steps forward when you can take this kind of effort, focus, and concentration on the road to get a win. And so it's Boston. In total yeah, control, control. Okay, up by 29 going into the break. A big difference in shooting percentages. That's why they lead. We'll be right back. And while we have a chance, let's go to our I State Farm know. assist of the game. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fella with the sweetest pass of the day. You know, anytime the guy's in the post and the teammates know he's unselfish, great player movement can create an opportunity just like that. Jackson, then there's Grant Williams, and it's Gallinari in at the four. Hero with it. Get outside, get outside. So we see the Celtics taking the W here. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for... O sea, no fue mejor, mucho mejor. What up, Ash? Press? 
No. Uh, I gotta show you something. Just watch this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's MP stand for anyway? Sounds like a phone to me. <laughs> Y'all got that MP29? <laughs> that, that Nokia joint? <laughs> no, no, you know, I, I think it stands for mostly pathetic. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Major pose. <laughs> <laughs> Missed the point. <laughs> Musty pillow. Oh! <laughs> Yo, why is that so funny, though? I think it's because she's an agent. Usually they're not funny. They're just suits. But this agent, she's very funny. Oh, yeah. She's supposed to be friends with everybody. You know what I mean? That's kind of their deal. Right. That right? is my deal. I'm either your friend or your worst enemy and Ooh. nothing in between. Oh. You still salty Ricky Bennett didn't join your agency, Barbara? Oh, come on now. I was just trying to help a brother out. It's not my fault that he doesn't understand the rules of the game. Oh, Chef, you know, I got a serious question for you. Um, what? Why can't you be more of a leader like MP? <laughs> why are you going to be so gosh darn no, selfish no cómo the subir de nivel. Man, anyone Eso looking sí up no to that bum now, todavía. good luck leading a team when you buried on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> But you know who I really feel sorry for? Like, Ooh. honestly, his girl. Oh. <laughs> All these NBA right. players. She stuck with that clown? I mean, realistically, man, he probably got a whole closet full of cardigans and pleated khakis. <laughs> <laughs> She'll figure it out. Mm. Speaking of, yo, Mila, your boy's single. Hit me up if you ever want to see what it's like to be with a real man. Oh, uh, wow. Oh, yeah. I am not touching that one. Look, this episode is going to do numbers, bro. Was there ever any doubt? <laughs> hey, 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 Chef, any final words you want to say to MP? You know, before the camera dies, because we're making this fire content right now. Go yeah, on. yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I just want to say, your game's trash, oh, oh. your agent's trash, mm. your girl's trash, mm. and you're trash. Mm. <laughs> Did I forget anything? Girl, agent, <laughs> I think you got that covered, buddy. And the mm. next time I see you, I'm going to tell you that to your face. Other than that, you know, uh, just wishing you many blessings, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's real classy. Why would he even mention me? Because he's Shep. Does he need a reason? Yeah. No, he does not. Clown. Look, this means nothing. It's just some loud mouth being a loud mouth. But you do have that Top Takes Daily interview tomorrow. And they are absolutely going to want to ask about this, given yeah, how inflammatory it was. Like I said, it's just, it's, it's no big deal. It is no big <sighs> deal. But we are going to obviously need to strategize your response, okay? So meet me at the business hub after you finished up here. And we'll go over whatever it is we need to go over. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you, Ash. Mm. Always keep me in the loop, no matter how painful it is. Thank you. Literally what you pay me to do. But yeah. See you in a bit. I got a big news for you, Pimpy. All the major shows, shoes companies are sweeping over you too. It's time to decide who you want to sign with. Really. Yeah, you're here, sit on the middle one. Just keep doing things. Mm. Ahora puedo sea, puedo firmar contrato con con alguien. A ver, yo amo Adidas, ya, pero me voy a ir con Jordan. My point. Se supone que ¿Qué nivel soy? Soy nivel 1, hermano. Llevo muy poco tiempo. Mm. No sé, así que nada, ya saben, suscríbanse, que like, comenten, compartan el canal y ya lo veo en la siguiente, porque todavía no entiendo eso del.
Eh, no entiendo eso del... De los stats, por ejemplo, ¿Cómo, en qué momento suben... Eh, o... No. Oh, puedo... Ah. ah, me cuesta plata, mira. O sea, podría, digamos, o sea, ya entendí, o sea, el, la progresión va específicamente O sea, la progresión va definitivamente aquí, o sea, por ejemplo, para llegar aquí son 19.000, o sea, a 93. ¿No? Y aquí en, en... O sea, esto debería estar en 75. Y me va a costar 24.000 más. Eh, pero quiero igual compensar con otras cosas porque la verdad que 54 mil más 85 wow sí caro sí o sea digamos que una cosa que no va a cambiar en este juego definitivamente es el, el tema del pago, digamos. ¿no? Yo no voy a pagar, pero les digo, o sea... O sea, yo esto, esto lo que, las monedas que tengo me venían con la compra, así que... Y... 3 points, por ejemplo, esto es 85, o sea... Tendría que subirlo lo que más pueda... Para no quedarme tan pobre... Pero sigo siendo nivel 1. Rich and Nada, tengo que, tengo que ver Tengo que ver cómo funciona El tema del nivel Así que nada, ya saben Suscríbanse en Gelight, comenten el video, compartan el canal Y los veo en la siguiente porque ya lo la quiero mucho Cuidado